So, remember when I made a YouTube channel and I was like, I'm gonna post every week. And I posted three videos. And then I said, this is hard. I don't have time. Well, now I have time. So, here I am, I'm back. And just to set expectations, um, I'm gonna be putting out at least a video every week. I would like to do more than one video, but it kinda depends on like editing and stuff. So, there will be at least a video every single week. And I'm really excited to get back on YouTube because YouTube is like so fun. Like just making these videos and filming my life is so fun and I love it so much. So, anyway, I figured I would go ahead and kick this new YouTube era of mine off with a get ready with me little chat, if you will. But I'm just working today. It's actually like noon and I have a meeting at one o'clock, but I didn't put any makeup on this morning. And so I figured now is probably a good time to like just get ready for the day. But because it is a work day and I just have like a few meetings today, I'm just doing something super natural, which honestly is what I already do anyway. So I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like this stuff. Um, it's the Say Slip Tint. I don't really know why I decided to use this today, but here we are, whatever. It's good enough. I just wanted like a little bit of coverage, but for it to feel basically like I'm wearing moisturizer. And that's what this will do for me. So while I'm getting ready, I figured I could do a little bit of a like life slash mental health slash just like me update. I mean, TBH, I'm kind of going through it in like certain ways. On paper, my life is probably like the best that it's ever been, but we all know how that goes. Like just because on paper it looks so great doesn't really mean that it feels great. And it doesn't mean that you can like enjoy how great it is if mentally you're not like stable. Um, I just used the Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer it's my favorite and I have been using it for years and years and nothing I ever try that's like not drugstore brand works as nice as this does so um, but I've just been going through like this phase lately where I'm really struggling with like my identity <laughs> I know that went a little deeper than you were probably expecting um, but basically like it sometimes it can get kind of hard when you film your life to then like so you film your life all the time and inevitably you have like i don't want to call it a brand but like you have this identity online and like these there are certain topics that that you align yourself with that you talk about and that you post about blah blah blah. and for me lately i have been feeling like i don't know what those pillars are like i don't know what my pillars are and like it doesn't mean like my values and it doesn't mean like it's not a moral dilemma it's just like i like who am i anymore like what things do I really care about and what things do I want to be part of my life and what do I not want to be part of my life it feels deeper than just like I don't know have like being sad or having the blues it's like not like it's not like depression or anything like that it's like just questioning like my everything that I do in a day in a week and in a month and in a year and like is that what I want to be doing is that long term is that getting to me where my goals are and then also having to figure out like what are my goals anyway Bronzer, I've been loving this Ilia powder bronzer. I go between the Ilia and this Merit bronzing stick. Ooh, it's blurry. Mm, it doesn't want to focus on it. But today I'm just filling this Ilia because it's a little bit more buildable than that bronzer stick is. And I'm feeling like I want to be tan. So anyways, back to the live chat. Basically, my boyfriend Max and I are putting in a real effort starting this week to like design our life the way that we want it to be and like like every aspect of our life we want it to be chosen by us like very intentionally so one part of uh, that for me was getting back on YouTube because it made me really happy and I think it aligns with my long-term goals and also he loves to edit my YouTube videos I don't know how to do any of that stuff luckily he's really good at it so I uh, lucked out there but he likes editing them and I think long term it gets us to our goals. Oh, well, I forgot to show you. This is the Elf Berry Mary. I've had this for literally so long. I don't even know where I got it to be honest. Target maybe. 
Um, but it's like one of those things that I just always go back to because I just really like the color and no matter if I'm super tan or super pale, it somehow always matches. Uh, this brow pencil is literally so incredible. I used this Anastasia Brow Wiz one for honestly maybe five years. Like I, I kept repurchasing this over and over and over again. And then I found this one on Amazon. It's from the Joa brand and it is so good. It is like the perfect dupe. And I also swear it has more in there and it lasts longer because I've had this one for a long time and I use it every single day. I think it's like 10 bucks. That is looking really blocky. So now that I have that, I just used my brow gel, which honestly, I really hate it. I kind of want to try that e.l.f. putty that everyone's been using all over TikTok. This is just the NYX, the brow glue, and it's honestly, it leaves like a weird residue on my brows. And I don't even think it holds them very well, but you know, we're working with what we got. If I can ever remember to buy the e.l.f. like putty one, I will, but you know how it goes. I walk in Target and then I just, you know, buy everything else except for what I came for because I, for I forget. I can't even get past the candles. So back to the life update and wanting to change everything about our life. <laughs> I swear this happens to me like once a year. Um, so we basically are, we've decided that we have to get like some sort of consistent workout routine going. So we're gonna work on that. I can't talk and do mascara at the same time. One thing that we're gonna start doing is working out together and I think we're gonna try out um, an F45 that's close to our house. We both worked out at F45 before and we liked it. Um, but we just want like, we just want honestly someone to tell us what to do and like not have to come up with it on our own and something that we can do together. Um, fun fact, if you don't know, that's how me and Max actually met. He was my trainer. Um, at a group fitness class and so that was like part a huge part of our relationship that's like how we met and how we started dating and that's what we would do together when we first started hanging out is we would just work out so we really want to get back to working out together and having that be like part of our relationship again and then we have really been enjoying our walks like I really love walks but I am too afraid to go by myself because I'm a weenie and he also loves walking and just wants to go with me and i think that's our time where we like dream like we'll just go on walks and like not have our phones and just kind of like talk about the future and plan our lives and i don't know that's kind of like our the time that we like connect the best um so yeah we're gonna start doing that and we'll take you along sometimes but what else did we decide we were gonna change hmm Honestly, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, and then on Fridays, we decided one day a week because we both work from home. One day a week, we have to get out of the house. And so I think on Fridays, we are gonna start going to like different coffee shops every Friday and just like trying to get out and about and meet people and make friends and just like be social and get out of the house. And also it gives me a good reason to wear really cute clothes and not like this every single day, which like, don't get me wrong, this is cute, but like, it's not that cute. <laughs> Okay, the mascara that I just put on was the Maybelline Sky High. Another thing that I've been literally wearing for years and nothing ever compares. So if you haven't tried this out, it's pretty affordable too. So 10 out of 10. For lips, I'm just going to go in with my NYX um, Professional Makeup Lip, Lip Pencil in the shade Nude Beige. I just like this one because it's like pretty much matches my lips almost exactly. And so it just kind of like gives me a little bit more fullness, I guess. I've been wearing this Laneige lip mask for also years and I learned recently from this girl that I follow on Instagram that it's like not cruelty free, it's not like vegan, it has like sulfates and parabens and stuff in it and it's tested on animals apparently. So I'm having a little bit of a moral dilemma with my longtime favorite uh, lip, lip gloss. So. I decided to become an aquaphor girly and I actually originally got it because um, last time I got lip filler my injector put this on afterwards and I was like huh I feel like maybe I should get it to heal my lips a little bit faster and then I've just been wearing it ever since so I don't know I think I'm done I feel like I forgot something but oh 
the heck? Highlighter, duh. Cannot go without that. I'm just using the Merit Highlighting Balm. The color is Kava. And I like to just put it on my cheeks. And I actually do it a little bit under my eye. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but whatever. On my nose. And then right there. And then I just blend it in. Usually with my finger. I just like how creamy it is and it's like a, it gives you more of like a healthy glow versus like a glittery highlighter look. Nobody likes that. I just want to look like I'm like glowing from within. Okay, now I think I'm actually done. <sighs> I have a meeting in approximately nine minutes that I am 0% prepared for. So I'm going to go sit at my desk and try to get my life back together before I have this meeting. Okay, I'm gonna go continue with my day now and I will catch up later. I just finished working for the day. My front office gets literally so scalding hot that I just sweat through all my afternoon meetings. I'm sure I look <laughs> really stressed out, but I'm just hot, honestly. Oh my gosh. Wow, it you have a you have a whole situation in here. Looks like we've got some chicken in here in the George Foreman. I think we're probably having salads. We've got some romaine. And we've got some, what's this? Onions. No, but what are you making with onions? Stir fry? Yeah. Stir fry some veggies. We love a man who cooks. It's like six o'clock and all I want to do is get in bed. Since the theme of this vlog is like getting our life back together pretty much, um, we're gonna go grocery shopping on a Monday night even though I don't think we've literally ever done that before, right? <laughs> Dinner was just like, whatever we had left over so we're gonna go to the grocery store but this is something that we used to do all the time and we kind of like fell off and we're gonna try to get back on it and we start with this like menu on that we got this on amazon it honestly is so nice this part like rips off and then this side you can plan the meals and then you ride the groceries here and it's a magnet on the back so it just like sticks to your fridge and there's so many pages here but we used to do this all the time and it just helps us to not have leftover groceries in the fridge at the end of the week because we've been getting really bad about wasting lately. And that drives me literally insane. So we filled out our grocery list with the meals that we're having. And then this little piece just rips off. And then you just take it to the grocery store. Super easy. It feels really weird leaving the house um, after like six o'clock. We are, we are home people. We do not leave the house. Like literally ever. I mean, that's not true, but we're trying to get better at that. Fun fact about me and Max is we literally fight over who has to drive and I want to be a passenger princess so bad, so bad, but he also wants to be a passenger princess, but there can only be one. So it's like a race to see who gets to the car first and today it's my turn. We just made it back from the grocery store, here's a little grocery haul. This was like the kind of grocery visit where we're out of everything and so we had to buy everything and it was really expensive, but we have so many goodies. We're back in the bathroom. It's like nine o'clock, I think. Um, I'm just getting ready for bed, honestly. I 
sat on the couch for the rest of the night watching YouTube videos and I just want to go to bed early like nine o'clock to me is like time to get in bed I probably won't go to sleep at nine but I think I want to just like get in bed and read a book or something and like wind down because I have not been doing a very good job of that lately and it's making me feel like I, I get in bed and then my brain is just going too fast and then it gives me a headache and then I don't get good sleep so just gonna get ready for bed I figured I could show you my get unready with me routine because I already showed my makeup routine earlier so it just feels like it fits somehow you know this sweatshirt is my favorite sweatshirt of all time Oak Island is my favorite um, place to like go vacation it's off the coast of North Carolina kind of like south of Wilmington um, if you're not familiar with it and it's this cute little island and me and Max like to say it's like our little secret island because we just love it so much and we don't know very many people that really go there but it doesn't have like any um like there's not a mcdonald's there's not a starbucks everything's like super local and cute and quaint and it's my literal favorite place on the whole planet um but anyways if there's one thing about me it's that when i go on vacation i will be buying a sweatshirt something about vacation sweatshirts they just are they're like the best ones I don't know why, I'm not sure what it is about vacation sweatshirts, but 10 out of 10 recommend. If you're a clippy girl, this is legitimately the best clip, clamp, whatever, I have ever used. And I had like originally a pack of just like the regular looking ones that were all neutral and I ended up losing like half of them, but I got a pack of these clear ones and this, this shape specifically is like my absolute favorite one. And I like it because it's so minimal and it just like goes with every single thing that I ever wear. Okay, this is not a good example because I have like a ponytail holder and stuff, so ignore that. But it's just the best, the best clip I've ever used. So a little backstory, I pretty much like ruined my skin barrier, I think, like a month or two ago. I was using the Paula's Choice um, liquid exfoliant that is kind of like viral. And honestly, I think it's just a little bit too intense for my skin. I was also using it like every day because I just didn't know. Like no no one gives you like an instruction manual on using it whenever you buy it. And it just like ruined my skin. And so I was having to use like really gentle cleansers and gentle products to try to like nurse my skin back to health. Like I was literally breaking out in like a tiny rash all over my face, which like not, not the vibe, okay? Um, so I went back to two things that I know are really gentle and really good. This Farmhouse Fresh is a product that I used like years ago and ended up going back to because it's just so gentle. And then this is the, I'm going to say this wrong, but like La Roche, La Roche Posay, the Tolerane Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. This is also very gentle and they're like pretty comparable. I don't really have a preference but I kind of just use both but today I'm going to use my farmhouse fresh one because um I used the other one yesterday dread washing my face but once I actually do it ugh, it just like feels so good I just I love having like a clean face next I'm gonna go in with my The Ordinary Niacinamide and the Hyaluronic Acid I've been using these both together for I don't know maybe like honestly probably coming up on like a year and a half and to be honest I don't really know if it's like great like I don't I'm, I'm sure it's good. I don't know if it's great, but it's pretty affordable and I know it's not doing any harm So I'm like whatever Last I'm just gonna put on the first aid beauty ultra repair cream. This is like me and max max actually loves this stuff He literally puts it on every single day um, But my favorite part about it is that it literally goes this is a big tub like this thing lasts for such a long time And we just kind of share it but my skin loves this stuff. 
something really interesting about putting your face and your life and your daily, just daily things on the internet is you like watching yourself do like normal everyday things really gets in your head because like before I would have never thought of like what my face looked like when I put on my moisturizer and now that I edit videos sometimes and like see all the faces that I make when I put on makeup or when I put on moisturizer or like when I'm rubbing it in and I like do this and like I look kind of goofy it like really gets to you and then you start thinking about like what you look like when you do random everyday things that you were never intended to like think about what you look like when you're like brushing your teeth last thing the aquaphor before bed isn't this what people use to slug so i never have actually done slugging um i don't know if i would like it like it, i kind of feel like it might feel like it's clogging maybe i should put it on my nose my nose is feeling a little bit crusty and like dry because i've been uh having my fireplace on and the heat on and the heat dries me out like crazy now for the hair, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow and I am strongly fighting the urge to not do anything crazy, but let me tell you, I really want to, oh shoot, I feel like my hair is like too dirty, like I need to wash it, oh shoot, maybe I'll just load it up with dry shampoo, oh man, I don't want to take a shower. What do y'all do whenever you go get your hair done? Do you like, do you wash it? Do you go with clean hair or do you just show up with dirty hair? Cause I don't want to be that person who has like nasty. Oh, that's embarrassing. Shoot, I think I'm gonna have to take a shower. <sighs> I will admit as much as I did not want to do that, it did feel really good. And now I'm just dead tired. today's vlog here this really was like a full average regular day in my life um, sometimes when you're like filming it it can feel so boring but I know that when other people film videos like this this is like what I love to see I just want to see people's regular day because then obviously I'm gonna compare it to mine and then it makes me feel better to know that I'm like normal and everyone has days like this where they just stay at home and they go grocery shopping and they go on walks and yeah so now that I'm coming back to YouTube I have to figure out like what kind of content to make so if you have any ideas if, or any things that you like to see or other people that you like to watch comment it in the comments so that I can get some inspiration and some ideas if you watched this far thank you so much for watching and just for being here and I'm really grateful that I even have the opportunity to make these videos so yeah that's it thanks She's so lovely. She's so lovely.